group marching throughout downtown Louisville wanted to send a strong message. Despite it being Derby Week, they demand justice for Breonna Taylor. Well, I wish we could celebrate, you know, a victory for Breonna. I wish we could celebrate Breonna being here instead of, you know, the, all this. Friday marked 100 days of protests in Louisville for Breonna Taylor and the fight for racial equality. Despite the smiles, protesters will tell you this is not an event they wanted to be part of. That's why it's hard to say celebrating, because it's a shame that we're still out here. It's a shame that they haven't charged the cops. Travis Najdi is the organizer behind the 100-day march throughout downtown Louisville. So it is no justice, no derby. Don't think that you can, don't think that the city can run straight until we get justice. Starting at Jefferson Square, the group marched across the street to the Louisville Metro Department of Corrections. They stood in the middle of the intersection for a few minutes, chanting, and then they left. No justice, no peace. The crowd seemed to grow larger as the group made their way to 4th Street Live. They were loud but peaceful as they chanted justice for Brianna. There were even applause and fists being raised by some of those eating inside the restaurants. The destination of this march, the headquarters for the Kentucky Derby Festival. Two days before the 146th Kentucky Derby, Churchill Downs released a statement addressing the lack of inclusion and promised steps to change. Daily protester Carmen Jones says she isn't buying it. Well, the best way that y'all could have started was canceling Derby so that we don't have to cancel it for you. How are you going to sit out here and put out this apology but still go on with Derby? And it's why these protesters say their calls for justice will be even louder on Saturday. Shaquille Lord, WLKY News. The group plans to protest at Churchill Downs tomorrow.